and then suddenly it's like, grapple this door panel. Like, shut up. I'm not gonna grapple a door panel. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, those who remain, like the Chozo Ghost, they remain in dimensional flux, drifting helplessly across time and space. All right. <laughs> I remember that. That stuck in my head. So, Richard, that's a different space. Yeah. Something's from outside space. What? What is outside? I, I know yeah. what I consider outside different. Yeah. So, yeah. Then you're fucked. <laughs> oh, hey, friend. Uh, so, yeah, okay. So, you know, world world is, is dying. So then this one person was like, I'm going to... Terraform the planet, create a giant ocean barrier between the desert and the rest of the hab habitable. 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 Hab habitable. Habitable. Um, anyway. Space, right? And then so she she gets she basically this was hundreds or thousands I don't know how many years ago. So she's basically the god of the world. Oh yeah, grapple the door. I was joking, but. Mounted blast shield. A strong pull should be enough to rip the lock from its brackets. Wrong button. That button. Are you... Fine. <laughs> Stupid motion controls. <laughs> motion! We all, we all love it. Hey, oh, hey you're dead. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going, guy. Oh, it's not going. Oh. Numerous energy burns from Phazon. Oh, no! I wonder if there's space pirates here. Use Man, manual just, override to open hatch. Is this the manual override? That stuff in. Put that stuff in, huh? No guy in there. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Uh oh. Security system. Limit enemy presence. To restore panel operations. Uh, okay. There's enemy presence. I want to find them. Welding repairs necessary to restore door operations. Oh, hey, guy. Can you help? Well, he's not dead, but, um... Well, we're not gonna help him. He's... I mean, what can I do right now? Target is dead. Friendly fire! Oh, no! Power conduit C inactive. Excuse Last me. star is made of pure Jovian steel. This makes me think of those fucking, uh... uh droids and fucking Star Wars, the roly-poly ones. Oh, yeah? That are just... would be invincible. Yeah. Like, no one could fight them. Yeah. Because they're just like... if they never, for any reason, drop their shields... Because they don't need to drop their shields to fire. Yeah, it's great. They just do because otherwise the story wouldn't happen. Because <laughs> I don't... what the fuck? To be fair, in Clone Wars... There's the episode where they, you know the like uh, that takes place like where they're training clones to do some shit. I sure hope you know how to use your fucking grapple. And, uh, yeah, fuck you. Do it. Anyway, where they're training like the clones how to fight those things. They're like, okay, no, the shields only work against high velocity things, so you have to lob, sorry, roll grenades into the shield and it goes through. Okay, that would explain how they can stick their guns out of their shields. Yes, yeah, because they're doing it slowly. Fine. It's... that's fine. I didn't think they would give a reason at all! <laughs> lock A powered down. Is lock B powered down? Shit. Alright, but lock C, though. That all good old reliable lock C. Damn it! Ah. Uh. Alright, anyway, let's through this door. Oh, scannable stuff. Air circulation pistons. Pump interval at five seconds. Um, yeah, so, okay, so, look, the world is saved, right? Sure, we have a big ocean. Big ocean blocking, blocking the, the desert. desert. Sure. And so then the game starts. Also, the dragons. She's she's also like, okay, so the dragons are powerful enough to destroy the world. I'm going to make some dudes and have you go kill them. Go kill all, go kill all the dragons. Game starts. Hey, look, you're a dragon and you aren't dead. That. What's with, with that? You're, you know, you go through the game. Spoilers for Breath of Fire 3, in case you care. Wait, can I just go up through here? Excuse me. There it is. 
Yeah, I can. Um, you go meet one of the one of the people who killed all the dragons. They're called guardians. Eh, whatever. Oh, not whatever. I kind of have to. I kind of have to do this. Okay. Um. And he's like, I. Why didn't the dragons fight back? All right, you know what? Let's go meet. Let's go meet our god, and ask her why the dragons all had to die. And that sort of becomes the plot of the game: is making your way to where she is, sure. which is on the other side of the desert, on the other side of the ocean. Excellent. So you know, it's a big trek over there. I'm gonna skip a lot of details, um, because a, a lot of it isn't terribly important, honestly, uh, sadly. Oh hey, look at this. Well, that's interesting. Oh. Power conduit is inactive. I'll oh, start generator. To oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Anyway, excuse me, sir. Do you know the way to the? Oh. Hmm. I don't think he knows anything anymore. He didn't, he didn't know. He didn't know shit. Flash shield is invulnerable to most weapon systems, but you can shoot a missile at it. So why did God want the dragons dead? Why did the God? Why did God want the dragons dead? Is essentially the plot of the game. Um, you don't really learn that until you go meet her. But it, it really was just because she's like, you you have the power to destroy that which I've created. Wait, was that it? Yes. So I I don't trust you to handle your power because. What were they doing before this? We don't we don't get that. <laughs> it, that may have been Breath of Fire one and two. Oh, I don't okay. know. I don't know for sure. I've only played Breath of Fire 1 and it was a long time ago. Mm. Oh. Gen... Gen... Gendrida. Hang on, before we get back to... Anyway, subject homeworld unknown. Possesses metamorphic ability similar to the biomorphs of Jovia 12. Can assume the form and abilities of most living things, including bioforms, considerably larger than the subject. Scans are unable to determine subject's age, but psych eval suggests a high degree of youthfulness. Intel suggests that bounty hunting is akin to a sport for her. Once she, en once she enjoys considerably, subject perceives the veteran hunter Samus Aran as her chief rival, a rival she intends to surpass as soon as possible. Sure. Why? Uh, Samus is there. Existing. Rundus! Look at all the look at these, look at this lore for the for the friends you're gonna have in this game. Yeah, friends. Yeah. Subject is a native of uh Fr I Frigus? Frigus? Frig Frigus or probably Frigus. A uh, moon of planet Best Three, known primarily for ice mining. The Frigisian ability to manipulate and generate ice has come in handy in Subject's career as a bounty hunter, and Tess suggests he enjoys hunting to the point where he keeps trophies from all the targets he's successfully captured or killed in his career. Subject is proud, cocky, and arrogant, and considers himself without rival in his field. So yeah, these are all the people we met on the ship. How many have, how many have, how many Ridleys have you killed? They haven't killed any Ridleys. Bitch. Subject is a veteran of the Liberation War of Wotan 7. Damn. Only 6% of Subject's birth body remains. The rest is state-of-the-art cyberware. Despite his career and heavy cybernetic modifications, Subject is known for his high level of empathy and compassion. Gore is rather gentle and approaches situations logically, but is not the most skilled of fighters. Intel suggests he even has a sense of humor. Wow. Subject has often championed the weak, poor, and downtrodden, working for free or giving bounty money uh, earned to the victims of his targets. Subject can merge his cybernetic body into larger mechanisms, including gunships and fighter craft. This merging will alter Ultra Gore's personality oh, yeah, and he'll become incredibly blah, blah, blah. All of this is Tell known because we scanned game. him earlier. Yeah. yeah. So there's our there's our three uh, our three bounty hunter friends. Yeah. Definitely friends. Yeah, friends. Alright, so Yeah, so the entire the entire game is essentially like You know, you, you like the party goes about the world and has their motivations and uh, for sticking with you and um, Do you have none of it's really brought up in any significant capacity until right at the end of the game that kind of sucks it's a it's an older RPG oh, okay. I'm gonna cut it some slack for just having a cool battle system <laughs> like yeah story's nothing too special unfortunately but I mean it's it is what it is 
Um, it's fine. And then at the end, they let you, you, you make the big decision. Do you want to, do you want to give up your power to the god to preserve the world, or do you want to uh, keep the power for yourself? I have a question. Wait, yes. what? Wait, what? What? It's your power. Why would you give up a thing that's yours? To preserve the world. Why would it preserve the wor world? Because if you don't trust yourself and you give up your power to the god so that it can be uh, uh, appropriately used. What, what were you doing before this? That's that's the thing, right? Is you like you're the you're the you're protagonist, man. You, you weren't doing anything with it. So fuck off. What, what yep. What was I doing? Yep. <laughs> Shush. Yep. Like the reason I wanted to know, I'm just like, oh, yeah, why do you have to kill a dragon? Like, oh, it's a you know, cost of war and some shit. Like, nah, they're just dangerous. You're like, oh, so you're a bit, so you're a dragon racist. Got it. Yep. Fuck you. You got to fight God. Oh yeah, that's the final boss. Of course. Yep. Never mind. What am I talking about? Oh RPG. yeah. To, to be fair, you don't have to. You can get the other ending by saying, yeah, all right, I'll give up my power. And it, the game will end. But well, fuck off. I didn't do anything. And you're just like, yeah, but give it, give me the power. Give me your power, because you can't be trusted with it, the thing that you were born with. Yeah. Fuck you, goddess. Yep. Damn. And you know, maybe it's entirely possible that you could probably find a an in-depth review of the game that covers the story a little bit better than I have. Um, but honestly, there wasn't really much overarching plot. It was just moment-to-moment -moment stuff, like figuring out how to cross the ocean, crossing the desert. Okay, so I will say that the game had a lot of cool like systems for non-combat. Like, when crossing the desert, you actually had to cross the desert. This wasn't just like... A cutscene. No. Oh, I wanted to scan you. No. Oh. Maybe next time. Oh. Shield pirate militia. Oh, hey, friend. Uh, give me that real quick. Cool, thanks. And, uh, give me that real quick. I killed a hundred things already. I spent a lot of time killing all those mines. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, hey, friends. You guys, you look, guys look cool. Let's see how cool they really look. What? Arrow trooper. Jetpack provides mean? aerial mobility. Oh, I was, I'm going to scan them is what it means. <sighs> they, still, they still explode. They still explode good. I love it. Oh! Oh, what? You fucking guys are jobbers! That guy's just gone. Yeah, he's... he's... Oh my god! No wonder you moved me uh, up. Uh, uh. Oh, 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 wait! Yeah, got, what, yeah. Gotcha! Well, armored transport. Forward vent is vulnerable. You mean, you mean that one? Oh, yeah, that one. You mean that, that one? Yeah, yeah. Man, no, you guys are fucking jobbers. No wonder the story, like... Metroid moves away from space pirates because what the fuck are they gonna do to you anymore? They tried putting fucking uh, uh, Dark Ego in them and they still get fucked up. They tried making them all robot and they still get fucked up. What are you supposed to do? They just give up. To be fair, they only haven't been in one game. Yeah, but that game also had the coolest motherfucker ever, so... I'm like, just saying any, that you can still any, we'll see them again. Any other threat is just like, you're not as good. I'm just saying we'll see them again. I know. Oh, hey, look. Mean. This doesn't... This do I, I love this. Is the ice not affected by gravity? That's... Uh, I was just about to say, like, wait, that doesn't work. It's not like, at least... Uh, are you the cocky one? You are. Yeah, he's Iceman. Yeah. I just received word that the Federation is allowing all bounty hunters to use ship command devices. You should now be able to remotely command your ship and land it here. Don't forget to perform suit me. Thanks for the Damn. tutorial, guy. You could use this moment Jimmy to fucking... Just through those uh, While you head that way, 
I'll activate the you know, on the west side. Fan more your personality and, us, and shit, but we're just gonna tutorialize it. One line at the bottom is not. He, no, I'm just saying. He's cocky, but he's not an asshole. He's okay. like, all right, we did it here. This will be way easier if I go to that other one. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. Anyway, wasted potential. Visor select to this one. Call ship. Come over here, ship. I like this part of Prime Three, you where you do shit with your ship. Actually, does shit. Yeah. Yeah. You shit, have you have a you have a ship that you can remote control, and you don't use it until this game. No. You just called in a save station. That's it. Just oh hey look that unlocked the door for some reason. I guess because a ship landed. I can believe that. Anyway, yeah, Breath of Fire three. Pretty good battle system. Fine story. I guess. Nothing special. But again, maybe I'm just maybe because I just kind of blew through the game that I I missed a lot of it a lot of it. But like. Nah, there was really only like three moments I can pinpoint for like each character where there was really like characterization moments of mm -hmm. like them examining their motivations. Not a lot. Not a lot. All right. Uh, but then what? I started oh, playing. Wait, there's something over there. Oh, but then cool. I started playing Spark Electric like, Gesture 3, Richard. Yeah, what about it? Richard, there's a there's a move shop in that game. Like, full on, like. Oh, you. Come on! Yeah. Come on! Why is there a move shop? Why not? My. Uh... Oh, yeah. Like, how detailed? What are we doing? Um, there's full video files of doing the moves. Jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, it's in there, Richard. Oh. <laughs> is, this a... is this still 2D? No. It stopped being 2D in the second one. Oh. Okay. Yeah, these are 3D now. Alright. Yeah. And, um... The only other big thing I can say, because I've literally only got through the first chapter, is, um... You know, you know the... You, you know that thing that everybody hated about Sonic 06? Like, about certain levels? Where it's just kind of... You just don't touch the controller? No. The... What? The mock speed segments? Where if you touch anything, you die instantly? Yeah. What if what if we made those but they're good? How? By letting you stop. All right, there you go. <laughs> or just control your fucking. Or speed. you can just actually control your character. God damn. Like they're they're like, hey, what if we just, what if we just made a good Sonic? Yo, game? what the fuck's going on in that new Sonic game? Oh yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> meh. <laughs> what, what's Hang on, happening? I gotta read this again. Why is why are they getting invaded by fucking anime? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, it's it's got to be destroyed. Oh, you got you got to move fast. Okay, kind of fast. There's five. Yeah, they'll get more complex. Like like there's some Ava shit mm -hmm. like appearing in the sky. Yep. What's going on? <laughs> Listen, Richard. All what? all I know is the story for that game is probably going to be good because the writer who does the IDW comics is, is writing for this game. Is that why it's fucking re it looks it looks so more real now? Because those comics are fucked. It's great. Yeah. Alright. But like, that that doesn't say anything about the gameplay. Well, of course. Yeah, it's true. Why are you blowing things up? Stop it! Stop blowing things up. Fuck. <laughs> Scan that before it's closed to you. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not closing. System error. Panel is stuck. Engage override. <clears throat> Shit's like, fucked. Yeah, it seems like there's more stuff in the field now than what was previously shown. So, it still could have like a bunch, bunch of nothing. So, Sega sure did go about showing this game off in the worst way I could think of. Uh, yeah, what was that first one where they showed fucking nothing? What's going with, what was with that? I don't know, but they like the robot thing first. I don't people will be like, oh shit. I'm like, oh, okay. What's going on here? Yeah. Why'd they show a fucking empty field? Not just empty fields, Richard. Empty fields with 
four things. No HUD or music. Oh, yeah. I'm sure the game has a HUD. That's the worst part, is that I'm pretty sure they just disabled the HUD. Oh, hi, friend. What? No, get back here. Oh, no, they refuse to be scanned. Okay, now. Yeah, now what? Jolly Roger drone. Oh, that's a good name. Jolly Roger drone is designed for quick aerial maneuvers, but this comes at the cost of survivability. The fragile armor of the unit is vulnerable to weapon fire of any type. The Jolly Roger is based on the Federation tech, but is considerably upgraded. Powered by Phazon, the mechanoid can be a serious threat in battle, especially in groups. Yeah, sure. Okay. Anyway. Soul threat. Help me. Did they just go in the same circle? Yeah, they were. You don't even have to. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Wait, did they all respawn? Oh, it looks like, it looks like it. Oh, they got like five. Okay, there's way more than I thought. They're all waiting just off camera. Like, good, like, like any good action game. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, two things. Yeah. One, I'll get to in a bit, because that's Discord leads you shit. Yeah? But, I was reading, because your necromancy thing brought up a memory, so I started reading a different thing. Oh, yeah? It's, like, it wasn't a... It's someone's experiment. It's called, like, I want to attempt making a fancy encyclopedia okay and i was like okay is that like fan fancy non-fiction you're like yes it's pretty much a simmer really inspired book of like just the normal fantastical bullshit that happens in the world and written in like a clinical scientific manner okay and i was like oh so it's just random chapters on like stuff like the planes and yeah, sure, sure, species sure. type. Yeah. The one, a chapter came out recently that was like, they introduced the, like the concept of like elders, which is like, is a, a species that has transcended death by doing some bullshit. Sure. Whatever that means, whatever, but it can't you be outside. You can't just become a lich. It ha you have to yourself somehow overcome mortality. And then you were like, all right, you unlock, you unlock a new form for yourself. Good job. Sure. As they were going through the different versions of that, because all the fantasy races have the person's own spin on that fantasy race. Sure. Which I think is funny for the elves, but I'll get into that for a second. Um, they're all like different like different ways they achieve their own bullshit. I found the I found the, the one for halflings funny. Yeah. Because like it started off we can't really say that there's a halfling elder. But like why not? Because it, technically it should exist and the ones that are alive we can't because of the definition of an elder is that through some outside means yeah they gained immortality or some shit yeah every version of halflings we found somehow lucked their way into living forever <laughs> that's great their, their luck has transcended such states that they just avoid death by luck. If they were going to be poisoned, the guy missed the wrong play. If they got stabbed, they happened to be wearing armor. If they're about to die of old age, they're drinking some beer. Someone spills an immortality but a, a, a life potion. Hang on, Richard. What's going on? <laughs> warping in bullshit. What the fuck is that? Bullshit warping in. So Saren? Sovereign? Oh my god, that is Sovereign. <laughs> Why are you doing the Mass Effect? That's just the Reaper. They just worked it in from Mass Effect. Huh? They just worked oh, it in from okay, Mass Effect. All right. That's just a Mass the Effect right there. Right at you. That's why the pirates disabled the defense system. They intend to smash this thing into Norion. Get that cat Why is this back so much online, louder? Or everyone down there is as good as it's dead. very important. I gotta scan some shit. 
Power production at full. Anyway, I found that funny. Yeah, no, that's just that's like, great. Oh, so just lean into it, right? Huh? Just lean into it. But it's like, so you can't scientifically prove it, like, no. But, yeah, something's happening. It's happened at least five times that we can record, so something's going on. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Uh, but it's not scientific, so technically they don't exist. It's, I find it hilarious. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, so for like, uh, for the one for elves and they're like, they have a whole ch they chapter on like elf biology. Like the joke in like, uh, D&D fight, d, &D community, like elves are just fucking like the jack of all trades as class that they fucking give more to whatever the fuck next source book it is. Cause they have to exist everywhere. Sure. Like, and they're like, oh no, that's a, that's a thing. That's just a thing of elves. You put an elf anywhere and they will actually mold themselves to be like the surrounding. That's just the feature. Why isn't that door open? Oh, cause the cutscene. Cause it was loading. Anyway, thanks for defending my ship. You can do it, guy! He's holding out. Oh, he has to reload. Wait. He's overcharging! <laughs> oh, damn. He got one of them. Oh, he got two of them. Yo! Holy shit! Who are you? Remember me? No, he's not gonna do that. Okay, so... Alright, Faceless Joe, who are you? Federation PED Marine. Advanced armor suit is equipped with Phazon Enhancement Device. Oh no, they're putting the drugs in them! Uh-huh. <laughs> they're juicing. Oh, no, damn it. Don't so, so it utilizes Phazon to increase the power of the armor worn by the Marines while active the Phazon unit enhances the attack defense systems of the suit. It's just in the suit. They're not direct injecting okay. it directly into their blood. <laughs> they're not fucking space pirates. <laughs> the space pirates are just fucking... Stabbing in between the toenails, in, the, in, in between the toes, like just get, just get in there. Get it in there the quickest way we know how, right under the toenails. Oh yeah, I can feel it. You're like, oh my god, guys. Wait, I can scan it. Oh, you sure could. Magnetic rail cannot be used with current suit abilities. Do I have to get into my ship or do I have to go this way? I probably have to go this way, right? I'm gonna save. I don't know. But that guy is cool and that area is locked down. But yeah, I find, I find, I find the exercises yep. guys doing fascinating because I like just as a person who buys so, like D and D source books, just, just to, look to at read them. them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm all like, yeah, this is for me. I would, I would, yeah, I love this. Speak of D and D source books. What's up? Did you see that sixth edition was announced? I was, I was almost like, oh wait, oh wait, no, that's just what happened. What am I talking about? That's just what happened. <laughs> Except that they did the thing. They're like. Yeah, you know how you have to like. Did we go to? Did we just you know how you have to like incinerate all your old books when the new one comes out, the new version, because they stop, lines, they, yeah. they they don't work anymore. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? What? They... Ev everything is gonna be forward, backwards compatible. What the? All right. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Great. Shit, if you've been paying it, like if you've been paying attention, like when Tosh just, like they've been slowly like just like retconning their own like rule system as. Years gone up five or five feet to the point where like abilities for improvement stone, like abilities. Yeah, they've, abilities been, they've been moving, stone. they've been decoupling that from the races. Yeah, right. Just be like, no, fuck it. Whatever. Yeah, just make whatever you want. Like, people, like, make whatever you want, guys. You like, want. this is about player, like, uh, don't agency. Should, like, like, a race should be handicapped into well, handicapped, but yeah, guided into a specific thing. So, like, fuck it, you get three points or whatever, fuck them, whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Wait, what? You're scannable? Oh, you're- Oh, you Oh, wait, his corpse! Uh... Hey, Marine, how's it going? I thought he was gonna shoot you! No, <laughs> no, we're good. No, we're good. Damn, there was no time that to guy scan that guy. The guy was doing his job. Is that bouncing Betty? Oh, no, they're coming for me. Anyway, yeah, 60. Also, there's a space jammer source book out now, so I might have to get that. Because I like, I like, like, you know what, you know what I like more than space? Fantasy space. Mm. Fantasy space is usually the shit. So what we're doing right now? With, with Chozo ghosts and shit? Yeah! I love that shit! Yeah. Like, what? Oh yeah, the space ghost. Like, a space ghost? And not, and not from coast to coast? You're like, yes. Beat me to it. <laughs> I know. I, I felt. You, I saw it. You beat I, me to I, it. I, I, 
I saw it. I used like a timer above your head. <laughs> you can't. You can't say those two words. You can't say those two words uh, without without me without me saying something. 